little guy is my slowest growing plant ever because it never grow. <laughs> Just kidding. Hello everyone, my name is Nicole. Last time I did a houseplant tour video was back in summer. And now Christmas is almost here. So I want to give you some updates on my houseplants. So let's do another houseplant tour video. And I want to show you what I got during the last six months and what I got rid of. So let's get started. This is my snake plant. It's doing fine, it's still in a very big container. I usually water it every 2-3 months. So it's looking good. And this is my dining table. I'm so sorry about the window, it makes it so bright. This is another snake plant. I got it from a plant swap event. Please focus. Okay. It's very beautiful, so I put it on my dining table. And here is my Monstera adamsonii. Is the narrow leaf form. However, it's not doing that well. As you can see, some of the leaves are quite yellow. And probably because of the weather, the temperature. Anyways, I'm leaving it here. I probably should repot it or move it somewhere. But let's do it in spring. Right next to the Monstera adamsonii, I have my Lufa. Luva does not come from the ocean. It is actually a plant. Now I can cut it off and use it to do dishes or shower. So this is my plant room. This is my west facing window and is my south facing window. It's snowing right now. Can you guys see? Whoa. Anyways, let's start from the right to the left. So this is my bird of paradise. It's a very beautiful plant. I got it in spring 2019 from Costco. Can you believe this guy? It's like $27.99 plus tax. So after I got it, this one is a new leaf. This one is a new leaf. And of course, this big white one is also a new leaf. And there are two coming. All right, this is the one on the back. And here is another one. Oh, I'm so excited. And right next to it, this is my begonia angel wing. I got a couple cuttings from a plant swap event back in early summer. And then I planted it. And now it has so many leaves. Look at that. This is my Monstera Deliciosa. This is a new leaf, very beautiful. And I got it in Lowe's, I believe. This one is my Begonia YDI. My dad got it for me. It's very beautiful. Let's look at the leaf. So it's very green on one side. And if you look at the back, it's very pink or even purple color. It's beautiful. But it doesn't really like the winter dry air. It's getting crispy. So what I should really do is bring it to the shower room so that it can get some moisture. And right next to it is my Monstera adamsonii. This is the white leaf form. I also got cuttings from a local plant swap event. So this is a new leaf going to unfurl. And I put a stick, bamboo stick right here. It's so pretty. Oh, let me mention about it. This is my Plumera. Look at how tall she is right now. Right next to it is the Monstera Deliciosa cutting. This is from my original plant, the narrow leaf form. Do you see the new words are coming out? Right here. So I'm very excited to pot it. Um, I also have some plants on the back, but we will come back to them. So, now let's talk about this guy, the whopper plant. It's been growing very well. I'm very happy and this guy needs a lot of bright light. This is super backlit, but most of my plants, my small to medium sized plants are sitting on this shelf. If you watch my first houseplant tour video, I used a wide shelf, but the quality was so bad, the wood cracked after a couple months, so 
I decided to purchase another one. So let's look from the top to the bottom. All right. This one is a Merimo ball, and I put it in this beautiful bridesmaid Nicole glass cup. I got this Merimo ball from the Plan Spot event as well. So like I said, most of my plans are coming from the Plan Swap event and I truly believe that sharing a plan is better than purchasing a plan or selling a plan. So if I have some extra plans, I'd rather give to people instead of asking for money. So the second layer, this is the lipstick plan from the plan swap event as well okay hopefully this is a better lighting hey it's flowering do you see that come on focus uh, please yeah it's flowering the flower is a little bit purple i got it in early summer this year i cannot believe it flowers for me and Hey, it's been in the middle of December. It's snowing outside. What are you doing? But I'm happy and I hope you keep growing. And right next to this lipstick plant is my aloe vera from Plant Swap Event as well. It was a very small aloe vera when I first got it, probably half of, half of the size. And now it's pretty happy. So behind this lipstick plant, this is my Obtrusifolia, Pepperami Obtrusifolia. It's the variegated one. This is actually my very first plant. I don't know why. I think it's losing some of the variegation. So if you look at the top, they're pretty green. But when I first got it, every leaf is just like this one very beautiful so if you guys have any tips for pepperoni obtrusifolia please let me know i do want to see some variegation in the future this is the one right next to them hi <sighs> this guy has so many names but i still call it variegated wandering through look at the leaves so it has white green and pink variegation the more lights it gets the more pink it will get and if you look at the back of the leaves they all have the pink color it's very beautiful i got it recently from an instagram friend she swapped a plant with me i'm very happy and she's been growing and right next to it this is definitely one of my fast growing plant oh my gosh hey this is my philodendron brazil it was in a four inch pot when i first got it and now look at how long she gets and here is my third shelf this one is my marble green potho it's getting bigger and bigger while wow, the leaves are kind of dry i need to water it soon so when you touch the leaves if you feel it like kind of soft it basically means it needs water after being a plant parent for a while your plant will help you figure out this one is definitely something that i'm so proud of this is my string of pearls i need to be very careful because i don't want to break any pearls okay i got it also from a local plant swap event and it only had three cuttings yeah i got it from three cuttings and look at it and look at what i see this is a flower bud and here's another one it's going to flower very soon and here there's another one i'm very excited oh my gosh so i posted a picture of my string of pearl on instagram about a couple weeks ago and you guys asked me why mine can grow so fast and thriving and yours they just die so i told a lot of you that i want to bottom water my plant and i'm going to show you how let me carefully put it back first bear with me okay now this is my water 
pitcher. I put the water in the tray and let it absorb the water. Do you see the water is getting less and less? Let me get more. So the plant will gradually absorb all the water that they need. If you still see extra water in the tray, then go ahead and dump it because you never want to overwater your plant. And this is succulent. Succulent cacti, they prefer staying in a very bright environment. So if you can put it closer to the windows, they will appreciate it. This is my variegated arrowhead. It's not doing that well, as you can see. Some of them, uh, the leaves look great, but look at this one. It already turned yellow, turned uh, brown and crispy. It probably doesn't really like the cold temperature, but I'm not very concerned because I see some growth, some new leaves coming out. So I think that is normal. And now let's move on to next one. But first, I'm going to move this guy. Oh. This is my fourth shelf. Here is my beautiful philodendron horse head. Look at the leaves. So pretty. And the new leaf is unfurling. How exciting. I don't know how this one breaks. I probably damage it. I don't know. And a new leaf is coming out. And let's turn around. A new leaf also coming out. And anything? I miss? No. So, wow, this is very exciting. This one is my Ficus Audrey. The leaves are very beautiful. I also got this plant from a plant swap event. If there is any plant swap event in your area, I strongly suggest you guys go because you get your plants for free and you're able to share your plants with other people. This is my marble green potho. Oh, golden potho, I'm sorry. And behind it is my Peperomia obtrusifolia. So this one also has less variegation. Um, from a plant swap event as well. This one, I got it from a friend. It's my African violet. I know it's not looking very good because I really need to do some trimming. The dead flowers, I need to cut it. But I did not really touch it. Or I should say I don't want to touch it for now because it's winter. I don't want to do much damage to the root system. And I'm waiting to spring so that I can separate it and yeah, we pot it. The last shelf is my propagation area or the temporary area. So let's look at my first tray. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Okay. This is my watermelon peperomia. Very beautiful from a plant swap event. I got it about two months ago, three months ago. And this is my another horse head philodendron. I got it for a friend. This one is my Peperomia Teardrops. It's very beautiful. When I first got it, it only has two, two leaves. And now look at the babies underneath. I'm so proud of you. From a plant swap event as well. And this is my variegated crimson, Hoya Crimson Queen from a plant swap event. I don't see any growth though, but the leaves are not wrinkly and actually pretty hard. So I'm not too worried about it. Probably because of the temperature, it still needs time to adjust themselves. So. And this is another wandering drew that I'm talking about. This is variegated wandering drew, but do you see a difference between this one and this one? You see the leaves difference? 
yeah this one is like longer but the back is also has a hint of pink or purple color this is my second tray she is not a house plant she is a passion fruit i got the cutting from a plant swap event as well and this one definitely the roots are growing but here actually they are two different types of passion fruit i'm not quite sure if this one is growing or just dying but i don't want to pull it out because it, there might be some roots so we'll see and another variegated wandering tree look at this side these two are my jasmine plant i know what you're thinking the leaves are quite dry looks like it's dead but it's not see the stem still has that green i think it still has life in it but i don't want to do anything because it is in the middle of december and this one the leaves are not dry i think the only reason that i can think of is before i bring them in i cut this one real short but this one i pretty much did not trim it i should have but i was being too lazy and this is my third tray here is my variegated lemon tree i got it in august or september so it's still in the original pot and this one is my dragon fruit i thought it didn't really grow much but look at that little thing it's coming out and also on the other side that thing is coming out so it's really growing even though in winter i cannot complain about it this is my hoya carrii it's a cutting from a plant swap event and these three are my variegated arrowhead and this one is the zero dollar coin and these two are the new leaf now let's look at the plant on the back side this one first this is my variegated rubber plant it's the tinnicky variety and this is my variegated arrowhead yes i got more and my rosemary i keep it indoors so that i can trim it when i need some uh, seasoning for steak and this is my mother of thousand this one is my jasmine plant yes it's pretty dry but it's okay and the one behind it this one is my zz plant it's a very slow grower but look at the leaves so pretty i really want a raven zz hopefully i can get it in 2020 that's it for this plant room let's go upstairs this is my bedroom and here is my east facing windows sorry about the bad lighting and now this beautiful grower is my fiddle leaf fake because it's kind of closer to the vent i have a spray bottle so i spray it every other day and during the day i usually pull it and let it to stay in front of the windows so that it can get some sunlight i got it recently i think about a month ago or one and a half month ago she's been doing okay she only drops one leaf since i got her and i'm very happy about that a lot of people said they usually would drop three to four leaves and that is very normal so one leaf i cannot complain it's a very beautiful plant and it's way easier than i thought when they need water the leaves would droop down like this very flat and after i water it it just perk back up yeah it's very easy so if you really want one i strongly suggest you try but remember this plant needs a lot of light if the place that you plan to put her is in front of a bright window definitely get one and this is my master bedroom this one is my neon potho it's a very slow growing plant do you feel the same way and this is my 
moisture or light meter. I usually use it to test the moisture level of my fiddly fig. And then I keep it here. And this little guy is my slowest growing plant ever because it never grow. <laughs> Just kidding. This is my Chinese money plant. It's a very beautiful plant. It was sitting by the plant shelf by the plant in the plant room, but you see some leaves. The older leaves are so droopy and I have no idea. I thought probably it's because it got too much light, so I decided to bring it upstairs. This window is also a south-facing window, but it has a film in front of it, so it kind of filter a lot of the bright, strong sunlight. And I kept this plant about two, three, at least three feet away from the windows. And now the new leaves are getting more green color, which is very good. And it also produced some babies. Do you see this? Here is one, and here's the second one, and there is a third one very closer to the base of the plant. Yeah, I'm very excited. I will separate them in spring 2020. This is my 2019 December houseplant tour video. If you like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Christmas is coming. Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday. And next video, I'm going to talk about my fast growing plants. The plants that you should get it when they're small because they grow very fast and surprise you all the time. If you're interested, stay tuned. And I will see you in my next one.